Hello everyone, I'm Dale Jansons, the bug guru. I have a whole bunch of neat critters to show you. Some of them are scary, some of them aren't, for Screech of the Reach. Hope you enjoy. Hello, this is the bug guru again. We're gonna look at another neat critter. This one is native, so you can find it in your own backyard, and some people can even find it in their house. It's called a boreal scorpion. There he is. This is a little male. We call him Little Grumpy because he's kind of a, you know, even bugs have a bit of personality and most boreal scorpions I've caught have been very skittish. This is the first one that actually kind of went after my finger and you know went after his container when I was catching him. So we call him Little Grumpy. And you can see his Claws on the front there, and then eight pairs, or four pairs of legs, eight in total, and then his long tail that ends in a little spike. And I said you can find it in your house. That doesn't mean you need to be afraid of them. Their stings are less than a bee sting. It was designed more to kill invertebrate prey than it is to cause pain or hurt people. What kind of invertebrate prey? These guys will eat almost anything smaller than themselves. We know a little bit about their size. I feed him fruit flies, which are quite a bit smaller. And then tiny crickets and wax worms. If you're worried about the deathness, the lethality of their stings, a good rule of thumb is to look at the claws. Scorpions that use mostly their claws to kill have, see those muscle joints at the end of his, that's kind of like the wrist almost looks like, like the where, you, where your thumb is. See how it's fat there? That means it has muscle. So it uses its claws more to hold on. Where if it doesn't need to worry about that, its poison is so deadly it kills things in just a couple seconds if it's a bug. They'll have very, very thin, thin claws. Okay. And you can find them out in the dry lands, the deserts. I found this one underneath an uh, old carpet out by some train tracks. Females will be about twice the size. You see he has a pair of eyes on top of his head, and he has a pair on either side. Might be kind of hard to tell the, the ones on the side there. And a neat thing about boreal scorpions is they are one of the north, farthest northern latitude scorpions. They get all the way up into Canada. And being so far north, they deal with problems that other scorpions don't. And they can freeze solid. And still be alive? And still be alive. One of the few organisms that can do that. Some frogs, I think bald faced hornets, and a couple spiders, and I think the harvester ant queens can do that, but most things cannot survive being frozen. 